Hey folks, I'm Ace. I'm Chen. And today we're going to be talking about how to do intelligent Gmail processing using Cloud Functions. So first, a quick background on uh, what we're doing today and how our application works. Um, so you probably know about the various G Suite web apps, everything from Gmail to Calendar to Slides to Docs to Sheets, so on and so forth. But what you may not know about is the APIs behind these apps that effectively provide us scalable and programmatic access to the G Suite data underlying these applications. Now, of course, in terms of what we can do with these APIs, especially when we combine them with Google Cloud, the sky really is the limit here. Uh, just to pick on a couple use cases in particular, we could say maybe we want to categorize images in our Gmail messages using the Cloud Vision API. Maybe we want to export data we generate in GCP, say in a BigQuery job or something, to Google Sheets. Maybe we want to even find sensitive data using the Data Loss Prevention API that we have in our Google Drive accounts. So today, we're going to focus uh, particularly on that first use case. So when it comes to Gmail processing, what we're going to try and do is say we want to take all of our incoming images, or excuse me, incoming messages, and anything that has an image on it, we want to find that image, extract that image, classify it using the Cloud Vision API, and export those classifiers to, excuse me, to Google Sheets, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And what we can do with this extension, the sort of so what, if you will, is that we can use this to easily search for images in our inbox. So in terms of the products and services that we're going to use today, um, obviously we're going to be using Gmail. And Gmail has this really cool feature uh, called the Watch API. Right? Now what the, the Watch API lets you do is send notifications to a Cloud PubSub topic whenever you receive an incoming email. Right? So Cloud PubSub provides us simple, scalable message queues, which we can then use to trigger Cloud Functions, which will host our event processing code. So in turn, Cloud Functions then uh, contacts Cloud Vision and says, hey, I have an image, right? I want you to tell me what kinds of categories apply to this image. So maybe let's say it's an image of blue sky, right? So Cloud Vision is going to say, OK, well, maybe it's blue. Maybe it has a, the sky in it. Maybe it has to do with nature, right? Then Cloud Functions is going to take those categories, export them to a Google Sheet using the Sheets API. So now I'm going to hand it over to Chen, who's going to talk about how we built this application. Hi. So this, uh, this project is actually a simple five-step process. First, you set up Gmail push notifications so that every time a new message arrives at your Gmail inbox, Gmail will send a push notification to call the PubSub. Call PubSub will then deliver this push notification to call functions, and our function will query the Gmail API and download the full message. If there is an image attachment, Cloud Functions will send the image data to Cloud Vision API for analysis. And Cloud Functions will then write the analysis to a Google Sheet. Now imagine that I send myself a, a picture of blue sky. Uh, Gmail will send a push notification upon arrival of this message. Uh, and the push notification will be delivered via Cloud PubSub to the Cloud Functions. Since there is an image attachment, Cloud Functions will send the image data to Cloud Vision API for analysis. This is a picture of blue sky. So as Ace have just mentioned, Cloud Vision API will probably return results like blue sky nature, et cetera. And Cloud Function will write the result to a Google Sheet. Now, we would love to talk more about the Gmail, uh, Cloud Vision API, et cetera. But before that, we really want to mention that accessing GCV data requires explicit approval from end users. GCV APIs, along with other Google APIs, are protected by the industry standard OpenAuth 2 work workflow. Normally, you have to perform this workflow manually to get access. But here, we use this really convenient Node.js library built by the team uh, to help us automate the process. Here's the code for handling the open source workflow. As you can see, it's really, uh, this package provides us two really convenient functions, auth-init and auth-callback. The auth-init function, as its name implies, helps initiate the open source workflow. And the callback function processes authorization data returned from Google servers and save it in a persistent storage for future reference. Here's the code for downloading the Gmail message. Uh, as you can see, the code is pretty straightforward. You just query the Gmail API for the most recent messages. Gmail API will return you a number of message IDs, and you can use those IDs to download the full message. Here's the code for analyzing data using Cloud Vision API. You basically just send the image data to Cloud Vision API, and Cloud Vision API will return you a number of labels, the categories of the image. We, here, we take the top three labels and write, it, write them to a Google Sheet. Uh, the, the code, once again, is pretty straightforward. It basically just called the Google Sheet API, tell the API that I have a new row of data I need to append to the sheet. 
and Google Sheet ABI will perform the operation automatically for you behind the scenes. Now we'll hand it back to Ace to talk about running and deploying this demo. So you'd think given how many different possibilities are exposed by this combination of, of cloud and G Suite, that deploying this would actually be a lot of effort, right? Surprisingly, it's not. Uh, you can generally break it down into these three simple steps. So first of all, you're going to want to enable these various APIs uh, that we have listed to the left here. Then you're going to want to download the code by cloning the GitHub project. Now, the URL for this is github.com slash Google Code Labs, all one word, slash GCF dash Gmail dash Code Lab. And unfortunately, we are having a couple technical issues with our Code Labs. Uh, but if and when those are resolved, you can also check this out in the hands-on lab section as well. Uh, now, last but not least, you're going to want to follow the instructions in that Code Lab, which will talk you through deploying this code to GCP. And now I'm going to hand it back to Chen, who's going to take us through a demo. So uh, we started this demo by calling the all need function. This function will have, uh, help us set up Gmail push notifications. And this function will redirect us to the sign in with Google page, where you can sign in with your own Google account. Here you will see this, uh, this app is in verified warning. That's because we are testing this locally. So uh, it's actually safe to ignore this warning. And now Google will tell us that this app requires the following permissions to continue. Basically, it needs access to your Gmail inbox so that it can set up the Gmail push notification. If you grant the system the access, you will see this success message, successfully set up Gmail push notifications. Now Ace will send me an uh, email with a picture. And unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we're having issues with the internet here. But yeah. we, we have pre-fed some of these images so you can see what it looks like in the real world. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, here's a picture of a beautiful cat. And the, this, uh, this image has been categorized by the Cloud Vision API here, along with the sender of the email and the name of the attachment. Uh, let's see if the. Uh, it will, still prob it will probably still take a few seconds for the new message to arrive. It's, uh, it's being quite slow. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah, conference Wi-Fi, hit or miss. Uh, let me give it one more second. Uh, it's having issues. We should probably just go on. Yeah. Technical difficulties, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. So uh, that's it from us. Uh, if you have any questions, please do let us know. Uh, either email us. Uh, I am fast at google.com, fast with two A's. Uh, you can also DM me on Twitter at serverloss. Uh, I'm Chen Mac at google.com. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Google Cloud Next. Thanks so much.